conversations with me last season, the captain of the club made no secret of his wish for new faces to arrive, and now they're here, he knows they'll be judged once again on their European campaign. I think uh, our number one priority has got to be the European Cup, because I think if we're challenging for the European Cup, I think the rest will fall into place. Um, and that's our aim. We've got to try and win that European Cup. Um, because we're always confident we can win our own Premier League, and I'm not trying to make, make it sound as if I'm writing off the other teams, but if, as I said, if I think we've got the players to challenge for the European Cup, I think the rest will fall into place, and we've got a squad capable of doing that. Hopefully, again, you know, can avoid any injuries. And you said, with the manager last season, I really don't think that's an issue. I think the biggest lift we've had this summer um, is the two new signings, and the fact that most of the players have signed long-term contracts, the gaffers agreed to stay um, at the end of the season. So everything's really, you know, looking good. We've got nothing to complain about, and uh, but hopefully that will continue. Um, again, it's easier said than done sitting here. It's going out and doing it on the pitch. Even in late July, everything seems to now be in place. Nearly £50 million spent, a smooth transformation in the backroom staff, and perhaps most crucially, the manager's confirmation he will remain at the club for another five years in an ambassadorial role. It was important that Gaffer obviously agreed to stay and uh, put an end to all the speculation. Um, does that affect players? That, do um, you know? Not necessarily players, but I suppose something you could do without, you know what I mean? Um, as you said, towards the end of the last season, they were, they were making a bit of a field there about would he even stay until the end of the last season, ridiculous quote, you know, stuff in the papers. And with the fact the lads all signed new contracts, um, I think that was important. Again, just to, I think there's only Bex maybe left, who's got one, one or two years left. So hopefully Bex will be sorted out in the next few weeks, because apparently talks are going quite well, so fingers crossed on that. They just, you know, the lads do, um, when they say, you know, they're so happy at the club and they love the club and they generally mean it, you know what I mean? I think we've been fortunate with the five or six lads coming through together, mm -hmm. the hardcore, you know, and, um, you know, they've all signed five, six, seven year deals. I think Ollie's agreed a new deal and it's just, um, just shows how much the club means to them. And I think that's important, you know, and uh, long may continue. So, what has been a long, tiring but successful tour ends here tomorrow night in Thailand before matches back home against Celtic, Wrexham and Bury. The manager has hinted he might try something different against the Thailand national side, but whatever he does, you can be sure that each and every player will be trying to impress as they all want to start the season on August the 19th. Steve Bauer, Red Hot News at the United Team Hotel in Bangkok.